Hi everyone and welcome to Monday's morning message and um, let us see what comes through for the start of the week. So I am going to begin with my fortune deck and then we're going to use the Alice in Wonderland tarot for our extra messages. So let's find out what we need to hear. Please bear in mind that these are general readings so not every reading will resonate for you and that's okay. And also time is fluid so don't worry about time frames. Okay, we've got the heartbreak and the canon. So the heartbreak speaks about some kind of disappointment. It's not always about the loss of a relationship. The heartbreak to me, it's just like, <sighs> something here hasn't gone to plan. You know, something here has let you down, disappointed you. And with the canon, this feels big. This feels like maybe it was quite sudden. Let's get one more. They flew out. Let's try again. crown jewels so this is about maybe like disappointment with some kind of leadership role with the crown jewels maybe um it could also be someone of authority who's disappointed you quite recently so let's have a look we're going to use the tarot now so The Emperor and the Death card. Some of you may be struggling with a business here or struggling with a boss, like a place of employment. It kind of feels like you've been experiencing a loss of power within yourself. Maybe you've been feeling not so confident the last couple of days. Um, it might be that, like I said, there was something unexpected which happened, which led to like a disappointment. Um, with like a promotion or a work situation. But yeah, basically you're just not really feeling in a very confident place right now. Um, so we're gonna look at why this is. What is it that's actually happened? The Empress. I'm just getting last minute nerves. I feel like you're still preparing to do something, but because it's not going to plan, maybe you feel a little bit disheartened by it. And it's like, well, just wait a second because, um you're not quite ready yet. You know, there's something you're trying to do, which maybe spirit's still preparing you for, but you want to do it now. You want it to happen like this cannon. You want it to be big and explosive. You want it to just move forwards in this moment. And spirit's saying, look, I know it's disappointing, but there's still some preparation we need to do. You're still going through perhaps this transition of maybe being self-employed or this kind of work transition. So, even though it's not what you want right now, it's it's going to get there. It may also be that, you know, heartbreak within a relationship is affecting your work. You could find that perhaps because of like disappointment within a love situation, a connection, you know, you're struggling to like take charge of your work. So I'm just getting mainly right now you're still being prepared. Queen of Cups. You will do this. Look, it's interesting because the Empress and the Queen of Cups is the same character in this deck. So Spirit's saying, look, you've been preparing for this and right now or very soon, you will be able to start seeing those results. With the Queen of Cups, you're balancing your emotions, um, but you're still feeling everything so deeply. So even if you've got good grips of how to handle your emotions, you can't help but feel what you feel. And I, I can tell that you guys are empaths, you're very sensitive souls. You know, what you're feeling right now, it goes to your very core. It's some kind of disappointment or sadness that you're experiencing. It's really hard to ignore no matter how um, how much work you've done on yourself. It's still there. So just because you're handling your reactions really well, it doesn't mean that you're not still hurting inside. So I want to see about this situation. Eight of Swords. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of disappointment, a lot of kind of changes around you. And some of these changes might be a little bit unsettling. Perhaps you don't feel like you can find your feet right now. Maybe you just feel like everything's a little bit confusing. Things are up in the air. You don't really know what's stable and what's not. So there's lots and lots of changes taking place in your life. Um, 
I do feel that with this death card that came out before, you're definitely saying goodbye to something, but with the Emperor, I feel like this is you choosing to walk away from some things so that you can, you know, prepare yourself for what lies ahead, prepare yourself for where you want to go. But with the Emperor and the Death, I can't help but feel that you're on the lookout for something. You've been like waiting for either someone to come to you with an offer or you've just been waiting for the right situation. You were hoping that someone would come in with like some kind of tempting offer already and maybe that's why you're disappointed because that seed perhaps hasn't planted but there are other seeds which are growing, there's other plants which are blooming in your garden. So Spirit's saying look don't focus on the disappointment of the ones that didn't work out but instead let them go and focus on the ones which you can still grow and nurture. So yeah, lots and lots of changes are taking place right now. Two eights, eight of swords and eight of cups. So this situation is calling you to walk away from any kind of chaos or conflict. Um, if you're experiencing anxiety right now, it's important that you try to work through this and get yourself, you know, back in a balanced place. Um, especially with this eight of cups, it's like, look, there's a door here that isn't opening. So something just hasn't gone to plan. SD. Shh. Something hasn't gone to plan. Something has disappointed you. This door would not budge. It would not open. And Spirit's saying, look, it won't open for a reason. We are blocking this door for you because we believe that better fulfillment lies outside. There's, um, what you're looking for isn't behind that door. Spirit's saying, look, we need you to look elsewhere right now because something bigger and better is on the horizon for you. Page of Wands. Think differently. There's a new idea which you're going to have and this idea will be good. So the Page of Wands is kind of like get back to the drawing board and maybe have a bit of, of a rethink, you know, um, perhaps just shift your mindset completely or maybe just like, you know, have a bit of a creative brainstorm here because something's going to come to you which is going to be better. Seven of Wands. You'll be able to work hard on this new idea and it will lead to some very good results. So the idea that you're going to have in the near future, that's going to be the one which just moves forwards. That's what you've been waiting for. That's the one which is kind of like, leading towards the future that you had hoped for but yeah you know there's there's lots of changes taking place in your life I really do feel like all the cards are up in the air right now you're waiting for things to settle back down and spirit saying look in these changing times don't focus on disappointments or the changes which have happened which maybe you didn't want um you know it's like you need to just go with the flow let these changes take place. Anything which falls apart, anything which is blocked, it's, it's that way for a reason because there's bigger and better things which lie ahead. The Hierophant. Listen to the guidance. Listen to the guidance from spirit. Just have a moment where you just when you experience anxiety or disappointment, just really just be still, close your eyes. And ask, you know, why is this happening? Like, literally just ask your guys, why is this happening? And they will come through, they'll come forward, and you'll either feel peaceful and reassured that you just trust why this is happening, or maybe you'll, like, experience something, um, and your guides will give you even more clarity. But look, Ace of Swords. Wow. Followed by the Ace of Pentacles. I didn't even see that one there. So you do have a bigger and better idea which you've been waiting for. Um, you know, it is a good time to start planting some new seeds, to start thinking about new ideas, because I really feel that, you know, the next full moon is going to be a wonderful time um, for you to set some intentions. And I know that we're often told, well, new moons are intention setting times, but I feel the next full moon is going to be a good time to set these intentions. Two aces. So, 
yeah, listen to the guidance you're getting from your spirit guides because they have bigger and better new beginnings on the horizon. You just need to be prepared to, to let go of some old things so that you can move forwards. Um, yeah, so pay attention to new ideas you have, new ways of doing things. If you do feel stuck, then definitely go back to that drawing board, have a bit of a rethink about what you could be doing, what is maybe a better way of doing something here. Um, because I feel that, that that spark, that idea is going to come to you. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's morning message. Do not give up if you feel frustrated. Spirit's clearly just redirecting us at this moment in time. So um, embrace those disappointments and know that you are being prepared for something bigger and even better. Okay, my loves, um, let me know what resonated and I will see you back here tomorrow. And tomorrow we have our morning message and we have our love reading. So Tuesday is a busy day. So yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoy today's message and I'll see you back here tomorrow for two readings. <laughs>